tag team competition we're going to see Mansoor, Finn Balor, and AJ Styles. Then across from them we see Trent Seven, Pete Dunne, and Tyler Bate. These teams have built up lots of animosity towards each other, and now they have finally reached a tipping point. I would expect Bedlam to break loose here. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stationary position, turns around. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, rocking the jump. Uncoops a thunderous jump. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Hit the mark with that one. Elbow smash. And he's able to counter. Able to give him the slip. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. And the count stopped short of two. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Brain Buster! How do you find your balance after that? Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Nicely done. Snap suplex so quick. And Mansoor gets stonewalled. Mansoor escapes the attack. Oh, 
that's a big victory for these three here tonight. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. One name is enough to shake any competitor. Here's Walter. The Megalodon from Austria was feared for years as he dominated the independent circuit. Walter will hit you with the force of a natural catastrophe. You know, his pure presence feels like a threat. I can't imagine the dread one must feel standing across from the ring general. And across the way is Jinder Mahal, a man who is as merciless as he is arrogant. Jinder claims he's on a hero journey to greatness. I think he's clearly a villain. Saxton, I hate to break it to you, but there are no heroes and villains. Just men and Maharajas like Jinder Mahal. Perched up top. Into the turnbuckle. High risk area up there. Will there be up, up on the top row? As it is part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And Mahal is in control. Ginger certainly getting that fierce look in his eyes. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Turns that back on Jinder. Momentum isn't completely out of Walter's side just yet. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Oh, nice hip drop. Up on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Looking for a high-risk move. Perched up top. as it gets.
long climb tonight. Ladder match with Raul Mendoza, Johnny Gargano, Santos Escobar, and Jordan Devlin. It is going to take a lot of courage for any of these superstars to climb the height of the ladder. The reality of being that high is scarier than it looks. Saxon, I wouldn't trust you as a barometer for heights. You get scared on escalators. But yeah, the superstars climbing that ladder, they might as well be climbing Mount Everest. DDT! Taking this outside. This could be good. Down with a tilt-the-world backbreaker. Oh, caught him in the head. DDT! Talk about devastation. key climb in a ladder match. Well, sometimes it comes organically. Sometimes you need to force it. You just need to have that instinct and presence of mind to know when it's time. Otherwise, you'll be left watching someone else on the clock. He's heading for higher ground. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. It seems a bit early to be going for the win if you ask me. Not if they can win right here. Quickly! 
This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Fishing for something beneath the ring. He's back into the ring. He's got a ladder now. He could be contemplating something very risky. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Bullseye with the drop kick. These two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Uh oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Nelson Driver. That unraveled on Mendoza. Take it down to the mat. You have the sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Magnolia loses on it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. What a match. What a match. He's heading back to the ring. Santos was ready there. Lands a kick to the gut. Legs caught. Ejected from the ring. Johnny Rising with a takedown. Look at the cinching in. There it is. The escape. Gargano escape is locked. Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Gargano keeps him at bay. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on this fire right now. Oh gosh, what impact. Hooked up. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Hoisted up. Nice. And that's an attack that must hurt Devlin even more at this point. This is Santos reminding everyone of the fighting spirit he possesses. Unbelievable athleticism. Ben Zagiri finds its mark. Mendoza can be looking to end this. On the way to the top of the ladder. This is it. He could do it right here. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well calculated one either. This match will head back to the ring. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's going to hang in with hands on the prize. For the love of God, just let go. What are you talking about, Saxton? Do not let go. This just right for him. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Big opportunity. Here we go, 
making that all-important climb up the ladder. I think this is it. Not quite there yet, but don't stop now. No time to waste. Got to get it done now. Here's where you want to leave no room for error once you... Hands on the pause, and he got it. What a ladder match. Here is your winner, Raul Mendoza. That was the kind of match that both makes and breaks careers, but right now we are looking at someone who was just made by that ladder match. tag team bout it's gonna be Zion Lee and Indy Hartwell and standing in their way of victory we see Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai on to the side what team has the advantage here it'll probably come down to who can cut the ring in half the best who can control the pace she's getting fired up ready to show her opponent what she's got Thanks. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Oh, oh, geez. Take all the wind out of you. Oh, 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 look at that. Embracing her adoring public. Oh, 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 reminding her who all these people really paid to see. Swinging neck breaker. Oh. There's a supreme woman in our midst. Show some respect, WWE Universe. receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Under the rope she goes. One step ahead of Indy there. Ball on a close line. Power slam. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. She doesn't even get a count of one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Disorienting attack. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. What an elbow drop for added measure. Tagged in. And she's in off the tag. Oh, a shoulder breaker. Gets her back. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Uh, Position it. Top rope heading up there. This is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. So she 
tags in.
You have to pull out all the stops in this one. The damage you can suffer can be disastrous. But this is not hyperbole. When you're in this type of match, someone's gonna get hurt. And you will not be 100% for a long time afterwards. There's one thing we know in a match like this. Things are gonna get ugly. You beat the hell out of your opponent until from the middle rope. Nobody home for that one. Places are right in the corner. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely not. Dangerously draped across the top rope. Oh, that hurt. What a jawbreaker. Roundhouse kick. Using the foot to their advantage. This is dirty. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Ah! On the apron now. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Last man standing matches are perhaps one of the most punishing matches in WWE, Corey. How can a superstar prepare for this kind of physical abuse? I don't know if you can prepare for the abuse that your opponent has in mind. Formulating your own plan of destruction and knowing how to inflict it on your opponent is key. On the apron now. Oh my God! She was planning. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. And she had Stacy's number there. And another counter. She's starting to look concerned. Firm control. Oh my God, what a kick. Discouraging results for Ripley right here. Things look dire for Rhea. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Fights out of trouble with a barrage of strikes. Uh. Oh, connects. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Stacy's thinking here. This pulls a hair into the snapmare. A surprising bit of danger. Ripley has to stop. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Stacy Keebler. And that's all 
Shiro. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.